Good morning and welcome to Hashtag Rise in Bond. I am your host, Glenn Lundy. I am a husband to one, a father to six, and the general manager of Dan Cummins, the Chevrolet Buick in Paris, Kentucky, the second largest used car franchise dealer in the United States of America. It is 5.30 a.m. and I hope that you are ready to rise and grind. Yo, 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 yo. What up, what up, what up, everybody? Good morning. It is Tuesday, March 13th. Says it right there in case you missed it. It is Tuesday, March 13th. Welcome to the Rise and grind. I hope you guys are having an incredible, incredible morning already. I know it's super, super early, but I'm having an incredibly impactful morning that I am going to share with you guys today. I have an absolute incredible story for you this morning. Uh, I, I, I'm going to just go ahead and, and put part of the punchline out there. My brother, who I haven't spoken to in over 10 years, gave me a phone call yesterday, and so I'm going to dive into that a little bit today. Uh, we also had a massive snowstorm that taught me some crazy things yesterday you just you would never know that a little bit of snow could uh can teach you something in life but i'm going to dive into that a little bit later also before i do before we get into all of that i need to say good morning to my peeps what's up good morning eric mitchell good morning my man troy cord troy are you on your way to the gym already because we got basketball this morning and i'm looking forward to hooping you up good morning steve wetmore good morning sean jones ricardo gerard my man aaron jones good morning patrick booth and josh over over overseeing overseeing over sean over sean over sean overseeing overseeing you're gonna have to message me bro you're gonna have to message me to make sure i get that right good morning dolly mitchell frank rivera Melvin Rodriguez, what's up, guys? Chris Brooks, Gail B. Crack, Matt Blackwell. Dude, I am telling you, we have an awesome show coming for you today. Before I totally, totally get into this, I want to tell you, good morning, man. I just want to start by saying not, not just good morning, but good morning and thank you so much for being in here today. Thank you so much for the commitment to the rise and grind, man. Thank you. You guys you guys have no idea, man. I spend I spend an hour. I've been up for a little over an hour and I just I get excited. I get I, I can't wait to jump on, be with you guys in the morning. What you guys are doing in my life. You guys are making an incredible difference in my life. It's it's just amazing, man. Jeff Wells Gym Basketball. Maybe you need to come to Paris. Yes, sir. Paris 6:30 YMCA. We're hooping it up. Come join us. But seriously, man, you guys you guys are just awesome. Okay, you guys are awesome. So I want to start the day by saying that. But, dude, let's get into this. Okay. Oh, and also do me a favor. When we get off of here, will you guys go to YouTube dot com and subscribe to my channel, please? I need you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, It's right there on the thing. YouTube dot com slash Glenn Lundy. When we get off here, subscribe to the YouTube channel and help get my rankings up because I want more people to see these videos. Every single Rise and Grind video is up there. All my in the beginning videos up there. All my Saturday morning sales meetings over at Dan Cummins are up there. And I want to help as many people as possible. So if you could help me by subscribing on YouTube dot com slash Glenn Lundy, I would greatly appreciate it. Now, with that said, check it out, dude. Yesterday was a crazy day for me. Yesterday was a crazy day today, and that's what we're gonna that's what we're gonna do this morning. I'm just gonna tell you guys a little story because yesterday was totally just an unexpected day to get for me altogether. Like I woke up yesterday morning, and of course, you know, I do my gratitude, I do my goals, just all the stuff that I typically do um, on a Monday morning, you know, or actually on any given morning for that for that matter. So I wake up, I do my thing, and then I, you know, just before I go to get on the show, that's when I kind of hit the social media cuz I don't do anything on my phone or social media or anything like that until I've already written down my gratitude and my goals, right? You guys know the five steps, right? You guys know if you don't know, there's a video, five things you have to do every morning that will change your life. So, once I popped on to uh some social media, I saw that it was snowing cuz I didn't hadn't even looked outside. So, I look outside, I've got 6 to 7 inches of snow outside, right? Now, in some places in Kentucky, they only got like an inch. Other places in Kentucky got like three or four inches. But I look out my back door, and I got six, seven inches, right? So I'm like, man, this is this is unexpected. I didn't realize. I think the news had said we might get an inch or two, but I wasn't expecting snow like this. 
So it was completely unexpected. So what did I do, of course? Well, uh, you know, I said, okay, well, here's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to have to go shovel some snow over at the dealership. we got to make sure that everything gets ready over there. So I'm going to throw on, you know, my snow pants. I'm going to throw on my boots. I'm getting everything prepared, right? So I get everything prepared to spend some time in the snow. And I head up, and I go to Walmart, and I got my leaf blower because I was hoping I could use my leaf blower to blow some snow off the cars. And I go to Walmart, and I get I couldn't find my gloves, so I got some gloves, and I got some fuel for the leaf blower. I got all this stuff. I got I got prepped, right? I got prepped for this for the day. I knew I was going to spend some time out in the snow. And so I show up at the dealership. And to be honest, I was kind of shocked. I was really surprised at the dealership because they had already taken care of a lot of the snow, man. Like Homeboy had been there since 530 in the morning, already plowing. There was already people shoveling. So a lot of it had already been taken care of. But I was surprised that it was starting to, as the sun was rising, it was already starting to like melt, right? Like the whole, this whole massive blanket of snow that had just covered everything. Everything was covered. It was just all starting to melt. And these huge areas that were once just, just completely covered up, they started to reveal themselves. And to be honest, I just stepped back and I started to watch the beauty in it all, right? Like it was so beautiful, man. As the sun continued to climb a little bit higher in the sky and, and the temperature started to raise and, and just the snow was, was sliding off the side of the buildings and you could see the, the icicles in the water trickling down and just everything w- had been washed. Everything had been washed and it was starting to be revealed. And it was just so beautiful. I couldn't help but just, just in that moment just feel the beauty that exists on this planet. The beauty and the purpose in everything. At first, I thought, oh, my gosh, there's all this crazy snow, and I've just got to get prepared. i got to get my snow pants. i got to protect myself, and I was just moving and shaking. But then once I got a moment, once I was able to actually sit back and look at the beauty of it, it was just incredibly beautiful. And what I realized and what I noticed and what I'm going to share with you today is it wasn't until the light, once the sun kind of came up and the light started to shine on it, that's when it all started to melt away, right? So it's neat. So I get into work and I'm checking my voicemails. I'm going through my routine. I'm doing all my stuff. And all of a sudden, dude, all of a sudden I hear this voice, man, (laughs) this blast from the past. My brother, okay, I have seven brothers and sisters. And when my dad passed away a little over 10 years ago, our entire family just completely went every direction. Like it was very, it was very turbulent. It was a turbulent time for all of us. And so we kind of went every direction. I haven't talked to my older brother in over 10 years. So I checked my voicemail and, and here's a message. There's a message from my older brother, right? And he actually, I mean, he called the dealership because we don't even have uh, each other's phone numbers. So I've got a message from my older brother. And now let me explain something about my older brother, okay? Him and I were th- like super tight when we were young. And then as we started to grow from high school in the er- in early years, we started to uh, you know, hate is such a strong word, but we we just got to the point where we disliked each other. We disliked each other a ton. You see, my brother ended up being a cop. My brother ended up being a cop. He was on the drug task force. He had this desire and this will to protect the 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 innocent and to 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 fight against bad guys. Well, guess what? I was a bad guy. <laughs> It was like him and I were like cops and robbers, man. We were like, uh, you know, dogs and cats. We just we just didn't mix. He had one path and I had another path and they were completely opposite paths. They just did not blend. So when we grew older and we had the opportunity to pull away from each other, that's exactly what we did. But I had a voicemail from him on my messages yesterday. And I was just like, this is this is crazy. So I called him. I called him and, and, and as soon as him and I got on the phone, he, he started to talk and he explained to me why he was, why he was calling and him and I got to rem- reminisce and we got to talk about our family and we got to talk about old times and we just, we started talking and we had a good 20, 25 minute conversation and towards the end of the conversation, my brother said something to me, my brother, this is my older brother, man, if any of you guys got an older brother, you understand, but my older brother, he said to me, he said, J.R., <laughs> which is what they used to call me because I'm Glenn Jr. He said, Jr. he said, I'm proud of you, man. He said he was proud of me, dude. It was powerful. It was so powerful. And check it out. Here's, here's why he had reached out to me. After all this time, after all of these years, he reached out to me because 
last Thursday, he saw an episode of Rise and Grind. Last Thursday, his wife brought her phone over to him and said, Hey, Clifton, this is, this is your brother that you haven't talked to in 10 years. This is your brother now. And it was the episode. It was the episode of Rise and Grind that I talked about last Thursday where I talked about insert God. Where all the bad things in your life the, and the differences between my past and my present all changed when I insert God. And that was the episode that she watched and he reached out and he told me he told me he was proud of me, people, man. And I'm, I know I'm getting a little emotional with you guys this morning, but it meant the world to me. It meant the world to me. And it was crazy because as we talked, all this darkness, all this heavy stuff, all of these feelings and emotions that I had towards my brother, as we talked, as we started to shine the light on all of that, it just started to melt all away, man. <laughs> it just started to melt away. It, it was gone and, and the darkness just disappeared and this light just started to shine and him and, able, him and I were able to talk and we were able to laugh. And it was crazy. It was crazy. So this morning, we got to learn something new every day, right? We got to learn something new every day. Holy smokes, I'm sorry to get distracted, but my boy Sam Cox is in here this morning. Sam Cox, I hope you're doing okay, bud. My boy Sam Cox had surgery yesterday. Everybody, there's Sam Cox. He's right there. He said good morning. Make sure you say good morning to my man, Sam Cox. Sam Cox is my right-hand man. He's the sales manager at my store. He's my brother from another mother, and he never is up in here in the rise and grind. He maybe watches it later. I don't know what he does. Sam's got his own morning routines, but he had to have surgery, and we miss you, bud, and we love you, and I love seeing you in here. But anyway, we got to learn something every single day, right? That's, that's the point of the rise and grind. Is I want to share my stories, and I want you guys to be able to learn, and I want to learn with you. So here's what I learned. I learned a couple things yesterday. I learned, first of all, life is going to be unexpected, right? Unexpected things are just going to, they're going to get thrown at us. I wasn't expecting seven inches of snow yesterday. It's just going to happen. And when these unexpected things happen in our life, here's what we got to do, dude. If you've got some unexpected stuff that just kind of hit you, kind of blindsided you or whatever, here's what you got to do. You got to get yourself prepared, okay? You got to figure it out. You got to look at the problem and go, okay, here's the problem. You got to shine light on it, right? You got to shine light on it because as soon as you start to shine light on the problem, that's when it all starts to melt away, right? So you got to look at the problem. You got to shine some light on it. You go, okay, okay, here's the problem. Here's what I'm struggling with. Here's what I got going on. What tools do I need to attack this? So yesterday morning when I saw the snow, I thought, okay, what tools do I need to attack this? Okay, well, I need to make sure I have a shovel, and I needed to make sure that I had gloves, and I needed to make sure I had fuel for my leaf blower so I could go out there and I could attack this thing, right? I had to make sure that I had the ability to attack the problem, and that's what you got to do. So get yourself prepared. That's what the morning routine does for you, okay? If you haven't quite figured that part out yet, the, that's why we need this awesome morning routine that's why go back and watch the video five things you have to do in the morning that will change your life the morning routine that's you getting yourself prepared for the day when you're when you're doing your gratitude list you're doing your goals you're setting yourself up you're taking care of your physical you're taking care of your mental you're taking care of your sp uh, spiritual you're setting yourself up you're preparing yourself for the day that way when something unexpected happens you've got the tools that you need to get through it so shine the light on the problem and make sure to get yourself prepared. And that's the second biggest aspect of it is we have to make sure to shine the light on the problem, people. As soon as the sun came up, the snow melted away. As soon as my brother picked up the phone and him and I were able to talk in 25 minutes into the conversation, 10 years, 15 years of anger, 15 years of animosity, 15 years of distance and, 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 and downright almost hatred for each other, it all just washed away. It all washed away as soon as my brother was willing to shine the light on it. As soon as he reached out and made that phone call and we were able to have that conversation, it all just melted away, man. So shine the light on your problems. Expose it. And if you think about this even deeper, I've been coming on here 
I've been going out here on social media and shining a light. I have told you guys I am a sinner. I have told you guys that I was was the bad guy. I have told you guys all of the things that I used to do. I have told you about the drugs. I've told you about the drinking. I've told you that I used to be a horrible person. I told you I used to not have a belief in God. I told you I used to not have any morals. I was willing to shine the light. I am exposed. I exposed myself, who I was. For all of you to, to, to ridicule, to beat me, to, 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 to beat me down, to do whatever, man. I'm exposed. I'm out here. That's my past. And because I was willing to shine the light on who I was and share it with you guys, I was able to reconnect with my brother, man. If anything, if anything out of this entire group, and it's been amazing, but if anything, that one thing alone. That one thing alone has made every morning worth it. That one thing alone has made every single, the, the disciplines of being up at 4.30 in the morning and getting in here at 5.30 in the morning and sharing this stuff with you and doing it every day and coming up with content and spending the time and making sure to share and making sure to, to get in here and get involved and like the post. It made it all worth it, man. I'm going to leave you with this last thought and then we got to go. I got to go play ball with the boys. I'm going to leave you with this one last thought, all right? All right, every action, every moment, every pain, every struggle, every hard time, all of it, all of it, every, every ounce of it is designed to serve a bigger purpose, okay? It's either better for us to grow, it's either designed for us to grow, or it's designed for others to grow. If the universe will allow it, if the universe will allow it, then it serves a purpose. I have come... So far, man, I have come so far in my life. I just want to tell you guys, you know, it all, it, all, it all started when I connected with some people here in Kentucky and I started to understand the spiritual side of my life. Then, of course, there was my wife. I got to I, my wife and, and the changes that made in my life then. Then, of course, there was Josh Cummins, man. When I met Josh and Dusty Cummins and everything that changed in my life that way. Then, of course, you know, you've got the Dan Cummins family, and now I've got this. Now I've got Rise and Grind, man. I've got Rise and Grind. And I can just tell you guys, if the universe will allow it, then it has served a purpose. My story, my struggles, everything that I had to go through was so that I could be a light. So that I could be a light for other people. So that other people could be a light for me. It all led me to this moment right here. This moment, Tuesday morning. March 13th, the first Tuesday morning, March 13th, 2018, in the history of all time, man, so that we could come together as a group, me, you, I got Ryan, I got Ray, Sam's up in here, Michael, Bambi, everybody, everybody's up in here, man, Chris, Beth, Josh, Troy, Jeffrey, all of that led, led to this moment so that we could be together right here on the rise and grind, man, I'm telling you, I know I'm getting... A little emotional today, but dude, my brother, man, <laughs> I connected back with my older brother because I was willing to expose myself. I was willing to shine the light. You need to shine the light. If you've got struggles, if you've got worries, if you've got problems, you've got things that you're going through, shine the light on them, man. Express them. Put them out there. Expose it and then analyze it. Get prepared. Figure out what the problem is. What do you need to fix it? What are the tools? How are you going to get them? Get together in a group. Get together with your peeps, like all your peeps right here on the rise, and grind. Get together, man. And just understand that if the universe allows it, if the universe is allowing it, it will serve a purpose for you. Maybe a year from now. Maybe it's five years from now. Maybe it's ten years from now. I don't know. But the one thing I do know is that you, my friend, you were made in God's image. You were made to be uniquely you. You are an amazing person. You are an incredible person. There's no one else like you on the planet. And you are part of an elite group of people that are choosing to rise and grind. The positivity that you're putting out there in your posts, in your comments, in your words, that positivity is making an impact on this planet with you, with your family members, with everyone around you. It is incredible what you are doing. And I, for one, absolutely 
love you for. If you're still hanging with me today, do me a favor. Throw me a like. Throw me a like. Throw me a heart. I want to see you this morning. Throw me a like. Throw me a heart. Lift me up. Give me some energy. Give me some energy. Get me going. Get me going because I got to go play some ball with these boys. I got to go show these young folks that just because I'm 40 doesn't mean I can't hang. There we go. There's all the likes. There's all the love. I love the fact that 20 minutes in, all y'all are still with me. You're rising and grinding. Guys, we're changing lives. We're making an impact. If you need more inspiration, if you need more videos, go to YouTube.com slash Glenn Lundy. There's over 100 videos up there. You can also get some gear. Get your rise and grind gear at GlennLundy.com or follow me on Instagram at Glenn underscore Lundy. I love you guys. You need to have a tremendous day today. You need to have a powerful day today. You need to have an impactful day today. Have a, just an incredible, incredible, spectacular day today. And most importantly, make sure you come back and see me tomorrow because I will be here. You will be here 530 a.m. on Rise and Grind.